will now have Dacian Cholos for the Renew Europe Group. Mr. President, Madam President, Europe has made considerable progress in recent months. There is no doubt that the recovery plan is a historic step forward and it embodies the power of the Union and our ability to overcome crises together. We have started to build a citizen's Europe in the true sense of the word. Has anyone heard from the nationalists or anti-Europeans in recent weeks? Their arguments against our European project have stalled and they're left with nothing much to say. They want to hide the fact that they need this recovery plan just like every other European does because they too need Europe. Of course, they will never admit it. However, today it is more and more clear than that their national project has no purpose anymore because Europe, Europe has become concrete and does its job. It is now high time to be loud and clear when it comes to our values as well, and not just when it concerns EU money. There is no possible trade-off between a Europe of investments or a Europe of values. Europe is not either one or the other. It can only be both. The rule of law is not an alternative. It is not optional. It is a key principle for everyone, including for you, President, for the Commission, for the Parliament, for the Council. Because what will happen to the trust gained from the citizens in these latest days, if in a year or two from now we read articles in the press telling us that the money from the recovery plan or the future budget went into the pockets of those who found for themselves a vocation as autocrats within our union. A weak judiciary in one single member state undermines the credibility of the rule of law in Europe as a whole. The Council wanted more flexibility in the use of European funds. However, the amounts at stake are huge and are debt made in the name of European citizens. That is why the Union's financial interests must be protected from corruption and conflicts of interest. The rule of law is not an abstract issue and it is your responsibility to stand by the Parliament in this fight as well as in the fight for own resources for the new budget. This is how we start building Europe. Then every one of our decisions must, made to, it must be made to ensure our citizens gain sustainable prosperity. An important step in climate legislation has just been taken by setting this uh, ambitious objective of a 55% reduction in, em in emissions. And you have... Uh, reacted to a um, call for um, impact assessment that we have made. And I would like to congratulate you for that. This is a historical decision. It is very important to have a, um, an impact assessment when we make a decision like that. We now expect a digital law that paves the way for independence in terms of processing, data encryption and cloud storage. These everyday technologies will determine the way in which we live in the future. It would be simply irresponsible to rely on foreign powers for such strategic things. And I would like to congratulate you for reserving at least 20% of the budget for this kind of investments. The construction of a green and digital Europe must inspire confidence and not fear. To do this, we must not hinder this with red tape or loss of freedom. We need to create a positive transition towards a new relationship with natural resources through digital, social and economic innovation. Let us build a Europe that does not waver when faced with a British Prime Minister who is losing his bearings or a Tur Turkish leader who is visibly in a state of nationalist fever and a Putin determined to sow discord. A Europe that does not forget its rural areas with an agriculture where digital and greening are not there to create bureaucracy, but to generate income for farmers and well-being for consumers. Madam President, Europe must be a beacon of stability for our citizens in front of anxiety and fear. And it must provide solutions to their uncertainties and fears. 
We have done this in recent months. We have come up with good solutions, but the crisis is not yet over. Europeans want from us to build a strong, reactive Europe where it is needed. We will only win if we know how to create solidarity through our actions and decisions. Thank you. Thank you very much.